My name is Wes Kellner. I want to talk to you guys about one of my number one passions in life, which is video games. But more importantly, I want to talk to you about the emotional effect that games have on me. I know you're asking, how is this devastatingly handsome man going to convince me that games can have an emotional effect? But I promise I'll get to that. We're going to start with talking about a game, my favorite game of all time, Shadow of the Colossus. In this game, you play a young hero. You have a sword, you have a bow and arrow, and you're asked to attack enemies of this size. These enemies are spread out over a gigantic map. It takes quite a long time to get from monster or boss to boss, uh, sometimes up to 10 minutes. But luckily, the developers gave you a horse to ride to get from A to B. Now, for me, it wasn't fast enough. Um, you did, they did give you a button to smash, to whip, or beat the horse. It wasn't fast enough for me. So more than not, I would be on a Saturday night in a dark living room smashing the X button while yelling profanities at a digital horse to speed up. Now, that's kind of sad, actually, when I say that out loud, but <laughs> nonetheless, I spent a lot of my nights doing that. But what, also, what I discovered while playing this game was this horse became utilitarian to me. It was nothing more than a means of conveyance. I didn't have any kind of attachment to it. And after 23, 24 hours of gameplay, that didn't ever change. It isn't until I got to the end of the game. In the very last scene of the game, you're asked to cross a very long bridge. The bridge is sort of rickety, doesn't look that safe. As you get about halfway across it, some of the rocks start to crumble around you. I realize this is bad news. Um, I know what's about to happen. I don't think my horse does. So at this point, I'm standing about four inches from my, computer, from my TV screen, and I'm holding the controller towards the screen, and I'm, I'm giving that button hell. Because I don't think I, the horse can actually understand the urgent moment that's about to happen. And I guess I needed to stand up to show him how committed I was to getting our ass off this bridge. But it, it didn't work. So as we're about to plummet to our death, the horse looks back to me in his digital way and bucks me from his back, and I land on the other side of the bridge in safety. And to me, that was a huge moment for me as a gamer for two reasons. Number one, I didn't see this twist, this plot twist coming. And I love that type of thing in a video game. But more importantly, what was more shocking to me was I didn't see this emotional connection with this horse coming. Because until that point, it was nothing more than a way for me to get to A and B. But he, giving his, his digital life for me really spoke to me as a gamer. So I challenge you, pick up a controller, go to GameStop, pick up some games, and sit down and play them. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and shocked at the emotional effect that you might have by playing games. I'm going to leave you today with a trailer for a game called The Last Guardian. Is a game that's made by the same developers and producers and directors of The Shadow of the Colossus. I hope you enjoy not only the rest of the TED Talk, but the video that I'm about to show. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.